it's Melissa and on today's video I will be doing an unboxing for the Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box for December 2021. Normally they include a card of the contents inside the box but I did not receive one in this month's kit but I've watched other unboxings and the theme is Starry Nights. So we'll start with that bead strand and these are Heshi beads or Heshi beads. Beautiful coloring. And you get a lot. So you can make a bracelet. They're great for embellishments. All different colors. That is Starry Night. Next we have this gorgeous bead strand in Moonstruck. How gorgeous is that? Have the cat's eye bead, it's gorgeous crystals, just look at the sparkle. You have some silver beads here, and they have little crystals inside of them. Beautiful sparkle from the boho bead and that focal bead. Gorgeous. That's going to be a really nice necklace. In this kit, you receive three chains. We have some of the linked enamel drop chain and they're colored on both sides in a beautiful blue, like a periwinkle color. Some more linked chain with a darker silver hue and a crystal it's called a uh, channel links. And then you have this beautiful one in gold with that clear crystal. You receive a lot of the gold link. Let's take a closer look at it. How beautiful is that? And each of the little crystals are faceted, so you're just gonna get that pop of sparkle. How pretty. And you get three feet of this. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we have the silver link chain, and this is a little bit smaller in size for the crystals than the gold. You have about 17 and a half to 18 inches of this chain. Beautiful, just look at that sparkle just pop right off that piece. And the chain links. And if you wanted to, you could cut away the jump ring in the middle and put a bead of your choice on there and do a wrapped loop or a simple loop on each end. And then you could have the little channel links um, connected to the beads for your design. How pretty. And this is the blue enamel link chain. They are double sided. And I recently received some of this in root beer color from the Pantone collection for my December ambassador kit. So be sure to check out that video. And I made a couple different designs with it as well. It's great to just add a little extra embellishment. You could double it up and add like a little charm bracelet. This is super fun to work with. Or just add a pendant and a clasp and you have a necklace. Next we have Shine Bright. Beautiful. You could use that as a pendant or earrings, or you could put them all on the same piece. Full of sparkle in that golden color. That is amazing. That's Shine Bright. Next we have Stardust. And there's all these little mix of findings. I'm going to go ahead and open this at the end of the video. You have all different mixed metals in there, gold, some little coppers, that's stardust. Then it comes with all these little mini beads and like micro spacers, some bicones, oval bicones. Pretty. That is stardust. Next, we have a bead mix in Celestial. Got all those beautiful stars, like a matte finish with an Aurora Borealis coat or an AB coat, some pave beads, lots of sparkle. That one's gonna be fun to dive into. Oops, looks like some little opal charms in there. Sorry about the glare. That really pretty yellow swirl bead. Celestial. Next, we have the Aurora Borealis bead mix. Let's see if we have some connectors. How pretty. Almost looks like a star constellation. 
Yes, yeah, more of the little stars. I see some mermaid class in there. Glass pearls, a little swirl. Pretty. So we really good to mix with the smaller beads from Stardust. Maybe add like little bead caps on there or little findings just to embellish that bead. So this is Aurora Borealis. And last but not least, I saved my favorite. This is the Starlight Boho Pair. These are absolutely stunning. You won't find them anywhere else but Jesse James Beads. And there are little moons on there with little pearl accents and a bead cap. Right now I'm going to turn these into some earrings. How pretty. You got little crystals in there. Those are gorgeous. Starlight Boho Pair. This is the Pendant and Charm Collection in Shine Bright. Look at how gorgeous that is. How bright and sparkly shines just like a star. It's going to be really fun to work with. And then on the hole, they're drilled or the hole is through the side, so you could go ahead and string it onto maybe some beading wire or a small leather cord, and it's just gonna stay stationary. If you want it to be a little bit of a dangle, just go ahead and add that jump ring. How pretty. And then you have the moon. Also very sparkly. That is Shine Bright. This is your bead mix in Aurora Borealis. Beautiful, beautiful mix. You have the larger beads in this collection. You have some of the mermaid glass, these beautiful blue check glass beads and then little teardrops. This gorgeous swirl bead, how it's just sparkling. That'd be really fun. Those would be fun as earrings or maybe as a bracelet and then you put a focal bead in the center. You have more of like the check glass beads. Recognizing this color from the Pantone from um, Beadbox from October with the Spring Lake color. Then these gorgeous AB star and they're crystal clear with that little AB finish. These purple metallic beads and you have some of these little rondels. Kind of like a gray and you see some purple in there. A little bit of like a periwinkle blue. Almost like when the sun is coming up and it's a little bit of the night sky, you get that color way off of those. And you just have some more of like the little briolette teardrops that are faceted on the bottom. With the same color, glass pearls, your connectors, and then you have some of these little silver stardust beads. I believe they can call them um, potato chip beads. That is Aurora Borealis. These are the metal components and findings from the Stardust collection. This has got to be the smallest little daisy spacer I've ever seen. It's like a little micro spacer. It's probably one and a half to two millimeters. It is super small. It's so cute. Make a great little like bead cap for one of the larger beads. And you have some of these ones here just, just to accent for color. Gorgeous. You have mixed tones. So beautiful. And that is Stardust, and there's a lot of bead caps in here, um, just little spacer beads, beautiful mix. This is the second part of the Stardust with all your glass crystals. Looks like a lot of check glass in here, and it's faceted, and then you have some of the opaque with a little bit of a shine on it, like a shimmer finish, micro beads, and one of those purple colors, a little bit of gold popping out of that one. You have some teardrop briolettes that are side drilled so that'd be great as a little charm or an accent drop off of an earring beautiful mix and then these are faceted in a crystal clear and these little opaque beads here those are going to look really good with those clear ab stars so that is stardust and you have a little bit of the mix here with the metal you can see how well that just accents all together This is your bead mix in Celestial. These little charms here caught my eye when I opened up this package. I love the opal crystal in them. They just seem to glow when the light hits them. They're really pretty under sunlight. Then you have more of the little star beads and these are the crystal clear with like a gold finish on them. And you have some of these and they've got that shimmer on them. Not quite an AB finish, but just a little bit of a shimmer to pick up some light. And you have the check glass frosted with some AB and it's like a matte finish for the star. These beautiful twisted spacers in gold. And they look like they're hand stamped. Those are really pretty. Nice little accent to the piece. 
And you have these ones. I love these beads. And they have them in all different colors. Have to have rondels to have the sparkle. And these big beads here, just how sparkly they are. Those would be the star of an earring pair for sure. And then some of the golden or light yellow pave beads, almost in like a jonquil color. And you have these ones here. And these are top drilled. How pretty. And those are about an eight millimeter. Look how those are faceted. Those are pretty. Put a jump ring through them and string them onto the links of the chain. That'd be a really pretty design. And you have little oval light blue cat's eye beads, almost like the clouds and the sky. And then you have these gold or yellow swirl beads. Super pretty mix. That is celestial. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see future videos. This was the Jesse James Bead Box, Magical Mystery Bead Box for December 2021. Have a wonderful day.